Good morning, dear students of grade 10. Today we are going to talk about the lesson of chemical basis of life. Chemical basis of life or the carbon compounds belong to a branch of science which is called biochemistry. Biochemistry from the term here is formed from two partitions, bio, which means living organisms or life, chemistry means we are going to deal with the chemical structure. So here the branch of science means biochemistry, is the science concerning with studying the chemistry of living organisms. Here living organisms includes bacteria, viruses, plants, fungi, and animals. Uh, we, your body is formed in gradual levels. So the gradual levels of your body organization start with the largest parts, which are the systems. Example of systems in your body is the digestive system. Digestive system is formed as seen in the figure from different organs. Like the stomach, each organ is formed from tissues. If we take the stomach as an example of organ of the digestive system, the stomach is formed from a group of tissues which are helping the stomach to do its function. As you know that the stomach has to squeeze the food, so it must be formed from tissues helping it in this function. The stomach is formed from muscular tissue to squeeze the food. Also, also, the stomach uh, has to secrete some uh, enzymes, acid like hydrochloric acid, to digest the food. So the stomach has uh, in its tissues also a secretory tissue. Here we have to know that the, the organ may be formed from different types of tissues, like the stomach, which may contain muscular tissue and secretory tissue. Then, by its turn, the tissue is formed from a group of similar cells. Each tissue is formed from a group of similar cells. The cell is uh, containing inside it some organelles, organelles to help the stomach to do its function. As you know from before, cells are the building and functional unit of your body. Meaning, building and the functional unit means that they are the smallest part of your body which can do the vital functions. Being a matter, the cells are formed chemically from molecules and the atoms. Again, being a matter, the cells are formed from molecules and atoms. So we are here we are talking about biological levels, which are systems, organs, tissues, cells, and organelles. And then we are going to talk about the chemical level of your body, which is talking about the molecules and the atoms from which your body is formed. So we are going to talk about the types of molecules and the atoms from which your body is formed. That is the meaning of chemical basis of life. Then, all cells of living organisms are made up of two types of compounds. All cells of living organisms means all living organisms chemically consist of two types of compounds or molecules which are inorganic compounds and organic compounds. Both are present in all living organisms chemical structure. Concerning the inorganic compounds, inorganic compounds are characterized by the absence of carbon atoms in their structure. They do not contain carbon atoms in their structure. Example, the water and mineral salts. Water chemically is formed from two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen. Mineral salts like sodium chloride is formed from one sodium atom and one chlorine atom. 
So it is clear that their structure is not including any carbon atom. Inorganic compounds are found naturally uh, in rocks. Um, sodium chloride is extracted from rocks, uh, from seawater. Uh, water is naturally found from rainfall, from rivers, from seawater. So the inorganic compounds origin is usually from the nature. On the other hand, talking about the organic compounds, organic compounds, mainly their chemical structure must contain carbon and hydrogen atoms. Organic compounds are, their origin is from living organisms, either during their life or after death. Any organic compound, its origin is from a living organism. So other naming for the organic compound is biological macromolecules. We can say they are called organic compounds or biological macromolecules. What is the meaning of biological macromolecules? Biological because their origin is from living organisms. Macro means large molecules. So organic compounds are characterized by their origin from living organisms and their large and complex chemical structure. Biological macromolecules found in all living organisms include four types. We have four types of organic compounds or biological macromolecules, which are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. Biological macromolecules has another naming, which is polymers. So we have here three names for the organic compounds. We can say they are called organic compounds. We can say biological macromolecules, and also we can say polymers. What is the meaning of polymers? Poly means many, mers means molecules. So the biological macromolecules are complex molecules formed from many small molecules. Many small molecules combine together to form the large complex molecule, which is called polymers. Here in this um, figure, illustrated, uh, monomers. What is the meaning of monomers? Monomers are small molecules, as seen in the figure. Monomers are small molecules. Small molecules, number of small, mo small molecules, combine together or link together by bonds to form a large complex molecule, which is called the polymer, through a process which is called polymerization process. So the definition of bi biological macromolecules or the polymers or the organic compounds is they are large sized organic compounds made up of smaller molecules Smaller molecules are called monomers. What is the meaning of monomers? Mono means one, mers means molecule. So many small molecules. Monomers means small molecules. Many small molecules combined together by a process called polymerization to form a large molecule called polymer. Here is an example for the polymerization process. We started with many small molecules. Each one is formed from two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. These monomers or small molecules combine together by link or bonds through a process called the polymerization to form a large complex molecule formed a chain from a chain of carbon atoms this large complex molecule will be called a polymer. Here is a figure for the four types of polymers found in all living organisms, bodies, proteins, carbohydrates, lipids, and nucleic acid, compared with the inorganic compounds like water and sodium chloride. Inorganic compounds are small, simple molecules formed from three atoms or two atoms like sodium chloride. Here, the polymers or the organic compounds are complex and large 
molecules formed from many atoms, mainly containing carbon and hydrogen atoms. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.